Hey guys, I'm going to be starting live right with me um, every Saturday at 9pm central time. So if you can, please come right with me. Um, yeah, okay. Well, let's get on to the video. Your characters drive your story. The characters don't happen to the plot, but the plot happens to the characters. That's why characters are so important. Hey, it's Anna and today is such an exciting video because I'm going to be doing the really well requested video of how to create a character profile, how to create and develop a character and things you should know about your character before you start writing them. I hope you guys subscribe and also follow me on these social media links um, and yeah without further ado let's go ahead and develop those characters of yours. So if you needed some inspiration before you get into developing your characters I definitely recommend checking out this video where I flush out and tell you guys all about my characters in my current project which is called Project CZ. So I hope you guys have a character in mind and without further ado let's go ahead and get on to the template. Alrighty, so we're going to be going on to a character building and I'm just going to be going through a kind of overall look of my character template and what it looks like. So I'll have this on the screen so you guys can um, see exactly what I'm looking at. So of course Del will be the character that we're going to be focusing on. So meet Del. So this is actually a big planning document and I actually have um, headers for each character. So I currently have how many? 14 characters in this book so it is a very big book. With that I definitely encourage you guys to number your characters in their um, importance in the book and their involvement. Del is is basically the main character as well as Avon um, so they are one and two. So firstly I just put her name which is Del and then down below I have the key kind of attributes that make her a human basically and that includes like height, gender, race, stuff like that. Then I have physical appearance, powers and abilities. These are two different things. I know people are like powers, abilities, same things when they're a little bit different but I'll get into that later. Then we have position and that's the kind of like social class, personality, strengths, weaknesses. And down below weaknesses I actually have fears and phobias which are really important because they are a bit distinguishable. And then lastly I actually have a sign because in my book I have a sign of each character and that kind of correlates to what chapters you know they have. So yeah this is kind of what the whole page looks like as a whole. If you want to copy down these headers definitely feel free to. You know this is a um, tutorial video so again everything here is meant to help. But let's go ahead and get on to the nitty gritty stuff. So I have of course her name and then down below I have age. It's a really good idea just to kind of gauge their age because it will really help you um, understand how they will act um, and you know their sorts of personality, the things that they will know, the way that they grew up, stuff like that because age literally is so important. Another thing that I would have maybe added is um, maturity because maturity is very different from the age you're at and the sorts of experiences that your character might have had. Um, but I think that's something that kind of has to do with personality more so that's why I didn't add maturity um, as an age. But yeah, Dell is 17. And then I have height. Height is kind of important because it kind of gauges um, you know the differences between characters and it can maybe become like a trait so for example Dal might be kind of short like me um, but she's not that short so you know <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Then we have gender, kind of straightforward, sexuality, those two are kind of you know pretty simple. Then we have race and from. So Dal actually isn't a human she's a demigod so that's why I think it's important just to put Actually, she's not a human, she's a demigod, so that's why I put demigod there, and she's from Mother Earth, Rotterdam, Holland. So I put that in brackets just to kind of give more detail. And right beside these key attributes, I have a photo of Del. Again, if you guys didn't know how to make this, I made her like this. Um, and I have a tutorial, a really in-depth tutorial, and I'll link it up there if you guys want to create your own characters because it's so, so fun and it helps visualize and add so much to your character profile. Okay, so with that done, we can go down to physical appearance. So physical appearance isn't very important, but it's a good idea to have a kind of gauge of what you think this character should look like. 
because I've said this in a few of my videos, but I think the way that someone looks definitely gives them personality. For example, glasses or something, maybe you can make the assumption that they're smart or maybe they had an injury in their eye, you know, something like that kind of gives them more character. Or maybe they have, you know, freckled skin or they always wear eyeliner. Stuff like that is important to pop in here, but I just kind of did the bare minimum. I put skin, hair, eye colour, their build. They're the four key things that I've put in this physical appearance um, header. That's kind of self-explanatory, but I think it's a really good way just to kind of you know have that in mind down below we have powers um this is kind of only applicable if you're making a fantasy book with of course a big magic system because oh my gosh this is a big magic system um so Della actually has the ability to open and close worlds kind of dramatic i know um she can split and mend um, and can communicate like telepathically with Avon through dreams and dreamscapes. So those are like real like noticeable powers that has to do with the magic system of your book. However, abilities is more like their skills, if that makes sense. So she has the ability to hunt um, in um, the bow and arrow and she also is very skilled with her dagger. So you can kind of see um, they're quite distinguished power and abilities. Um, in regards to, you know, your character. So that's a really good way if you have a magic system to really flush out and think about their powers and what makes like their powers like important. However, when I say flush out um, and kind of make details, I think it's not a good idea to make it too detailed in your character profile. Um, it's something you should refer back to. It should be really set in stone and simple. But of course, characters change. They will you know, grow, but this character profile is them kind of throughout the novel and at the initial start of the novel. So there's things in here that of course Del doesn't know yet, or the readers don't know yet, um, so it basically has everything from start to finish of the book. Alrighty, so with that done we have position. So this is again a social class. She is the rightful queen to the city of Seal. City of Zeal is it's really hard to explain. If you guys want to know more about this world, I just actually posted a video of all of my writing projects. If you want to check that out, definitely do that. I worked so hard on that video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. But position, yes, that's their social class. They might be the brother-in-law to someone, or they might be the lost prince, or someone who inherits the lost treasure of um, their father. Something like that, kind of just like the position, social class. Um, where they belong rightfully rightfully <laughs> okay and then down below we have personality so Del is a passionate and determined girl who fastens her life on logic and never doubts her instincts so with personality you're gonna have to flush out kind of their main attributes as a character and their characterization their growth and stuff like that so definitely don't try to flush it out too much and be like she's this 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 just kind of note her most um, what's the word? Her most, her most noticeable attributes of her personality. So yeah, that's kind of her personality. It's just, I really like having the um, paragraph since it, it gives me a lot of freedom just to kind of um, get to know Del as a person and kind of add little things that make her who she is. Down below we have strengths. Um, this kind of also has to do with their abilities um, and skills, but they also have to do with their morale and their, um, their kind of, yeah, mental skills, physical skills. So she's really good at hunting, of course, that's a skills thing, but she also is very good at finding logical answers. Um, and another thing is, is she's very merciful, so she has a good heart and she loves giving people mercy. So that's kind of strength. Strengths are really important because you can get ideas on how to maybe turn them against the character. Maybe their strengths can become their downfalls. For example, Del is very merciful. Maybe she shows mercy to um, someone she loves. Not gonna spoil anything, but maybe that ends up, you know, turning back on her. Down below we have weaknesses. Um, so she's actually really bad at climbing, even though she's a hunter. Um, I think it's kind of funny. I love doing funny things like that. Um, she's reckless. She has 
a very bad sense of humor and she is extremely stubborn so even though stubbornness can be seen in a light of being determined stubbornness can actually be a bad thing down below we have fierce so she's actually like extremely driven like on instinct and like passion and emotion so she's kind of scared that that will get in to the way of her usual logical thinking and that's kind of almost a growth throughout the book so i think it's a really good idea to kind of think about these things and think yeah she is very driven on logic this is for an example but as she gets to know people get close to her friends her logic begins to deplete and she starts to be driven more on emotion and acting rationally than actually focusing on you know acting in pure logic then down below we have phobias and her phobias are actually heights even though she's a hunter again she hates climbing um, and she hates heights so these are fun really funny things that i think just make her a character it's just a work in progress again you're gonna add new things um kind of edit your document as you go but the character profile practically is set in stone and if you do get new ideas you just add them to the book and then this is her sign it kind of looks like a d i think it looks kind of cool but yeah, that's her sign that I use to show the readers that that's her chapter. So yeah, this is Adele. That's kind of like the, you know, things I have um, for her character profile. So yeah. So that is it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Writing your characters is important and showing their development throughout the book is really important. But just trust them. Just trust them. Because I don't know about you guys, but there's times in my book where I'm like, I have no idea what's going on and the characters literally just tell me. So <laughs> just trust the process because literally, even if your characters feel really 2D or whatever, as you write your book, they will come to life. But I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye. Yeah. Still for people